the Great Barrier Reef, Australia. At night, I'm surrounded by corals. They do look extraordinarily like plants, branching into fans and twigs and bushes. At night, the similarity is particularly marked. All over their stony surface, tiny buds open into what look like flowers. But these little structures don't behave in a flower-like way. They seize and eat any edible particle that drifts by. They are clearly animals. But even so, they look like plants. Why? It was only comparatively recently that we understood the answer in full detail. And it only becomes evident when the sun comes up for then the corals change their behavior in a radical way. Corals, like plants, must have light. They can't grow if the water is cloudy or the depth so great that the rays of the sun can't reach it. And these resemblances are not just coincidences. If I go back underwater now, now that it's day and the sun is up, I shall see that many of these corals are feeding in a way that is not like animals at all, a way that is quite different. Now, the plant-like form of the coral is even more obvious. The tiny rosettes of groping arms have withdrawn into their stony sockets on the surface of the coral skeleton. But they're still within the reach of sunlight. And within their tiny bodies are microscopic green plants, algae. And they're feeding by making starches and sugars. But the corals are feeding too. They have partly digested the walls of these captive plants and 80% of the food the algae make leaks out of them and is consumed by the coral. Having dined on meat all night, the corals are now getting their vegetables. The corals provide their internal gardens with the best possible light by growing into these shapes which is just what bushes do for their food factories, their leaves, when they grow in the same way. The coral algae do get some benefit from this arrangement. These glassy waters are very poor in nitrates and phosphates, which algae need. Those substances, however, are in the coral's waste products. So the algae, safe inside these rocky skeletons, can absorb their fertilizer directly and live in waters that otherwise could not support them. 